welcome back to my channel. I'm still getting used to these bangs. It was hair wash day this morning and I'm still like getting used to styling them, but I do think they are so fun and just like that little different thing. Anyway, I am in the car now. I'm about to head into an appointment, a treatment that I've been wanting to try for ages. I've been wanting to book myself a massage for a really long time. I love massages. I haven't done one in over a year. I was thinking about when was the last time that I did one. And I've been really consistent with my health, my fitness the last few months. So I thought I would treat myself to a massage, but it's gonna be a lymphatic drainage massage. And I've never done one before. I'm super curious. I've heard so many good things about this kind of massage technique. And I thought I would try to show you little bits of it. If I can, I'm gonna ask if I can film parts of it. Cause I think the way they do the massage the technique is a little different from your traditional massage so hopefully i'll be able to film a little bit in there we'll see it's a massage that activates the lymph system and helps to push out excess fluid if you have any swelling or inflammation it's great for just sculpting your body i'm really excited to try it and see like if it's a lot different than a regular massage and also if it's as relaxing what's the amount of pressure that they use and all of those things and the lady I'm doing it with is Brazilian that's where this kind of massage originated from so I'm getting like the real authentic experience so super excited to do a little facial massage on myself in honor of the lymphatic drainage that I did yesterday to sort of complete the effect taking a little facial oil and I'm gonna mix in about three pumps of our moisturizer as well so the massage was incredible I was so curious like how it was going to be if you compare it to a traditional massage in terms of like the pressure and the movements I was so pleasantly surprise because i know a lot of lymphatic drainage massages are more like they're very very soft they're just like this very very soft to the touch because the lymphatic system is actually just underneath the skin so you don't actually need a lot of pressure to activate the lymph and actually this is something that I'm inspired to do so you have lymph nodes right here you have them throughout your entire body but there are some places that have a really high concentration of them one of them is here and just press here to activate them before you do a facial massage and what she was doing with me yesterday she was activating all of them throughout my body and then doing the massage but it was so nice and definitely stronger than a normal like traditional lymphatic massage and it was a lot faster too so you could really feel her working on not just the lymphatic system but the fascia underneath and the muscles you guys know i do body pump which is strength training and i had just done one yesterday so in the morning before i went to see her generally if you're a more active person it's just so nice to have somebody work on your muscles and release that tension and sort of move that lactic acid especially when she was doing my legs like you really feel the tingling like you really feel all the blood because she does really like work on your legs that felt so so amazing it really was like an incredible massage like very relaxing but also it was really cool knowing that she was actually working on the tissue and actually moving your lymph and getting rid of excess fluid and just really activating your lymphatic system so that your body can naturally detox better she talked about how it was really sculpting as well for the body and how her techniques that she's using compared to a traditional massage it really works on toning and sculpting the body does it replace exercise and eating healthy no but i do think that it's a nice addition or a nice like complement to living a healthy lifestyle and it just feels 
amazing beyond these like crazy before and afters that you can sometimes see and this like the physical aspect of it just the relaxing component and i did also ask her about like dry brushing and using certain tools for your body if that if she believes that that has a similar effect she prefers using her hands i think it's because she's trained in that she says with your hands you can really work the tissues better especially for like a sculpting effect but she did say that the dry brushing is great for the actual skin texture because you are gently exfoliating your skin we also talked about the importance of a healthy lifestyle and just staying active and having good movement in your body that's really important for your lymph and of course the food that you're eating you know staying hydrated and just generally how you're treating your body i think you know with a lot of these treatments people go and they want to get this instant transformation but what's really important to know is your lifestyle like what are you doing long term but i do think massages are a really nice complement to that and of course they feel amazing There's something about massaging the chest like this i know what it is but it just feels so good mm. I think especially in the face we hold so much tension i love doing this on myself it's like a few times per week that is just so relaxing mm. this is a warm damp towel i'm just going to press this and just remove a little bit of that excess oil oh, this feels so good too I'm going to go in with a little bit more of our Common Hydrate Moisturizer. I'm obsessed with this moisturizer. It feels like a cloud on your skin. It's extremely hydrating, but you can see the texture is so nice and lightweight. And the best part is it doesn't break me out. This is non-comedogenic, specifically made for more acne-prone skin types, but everyone can use this moisturizer. But if you have difficult, acne-prone, just finicky skin, this is amazing and the formula is super clean it doesn't have any fragrances or oils absolutely no allergens so it's just incredible and it gives you a nice little glow as well you can see right there it's so pretty and we're actually starting a sale for valentine's day which is coming up very soon so it's starting on the first i believe this video is going to go up just the day before the sale starts but if you guys have been curious about trying any of our products especially this moisturizer definitely check out our site you can read reviews on there i'm such a big review person and all of these reviews are verified also check out our cleanser that's one of our most popular products and it's currently in stock it gets sold out very quick you can use the code vday20 and that will get you 20 percent off site-wide until february 14th so if you want to treat yourself or a loved one to some really incredible skincare then definitely check it out i will have our website linked down below as well as the massage therapist that i went to go see for the lymphatic drainage in case you guys are interested in her as well everything will be down below in the description box so one of my goals for this year is to cook more at home and really prioritize nourishing myself, especially middle of the day when it's so easy for me to just grab random snacks. I'm a busy mom. So I've been really into making these big salad bowls with a variety of toppings. The key here is a little simple meal prep. So lately I've been really into quinoa again. The texture is just so good. It's really easy to cook. It's filling and just a well-rounded healthy carb that has some good protein in it as well. I also love some grilled chicken or any leftover protein from the night before. These sliced sweet potatoes are so good as well. I just bake them in the oven with some olive oil and salt and then any fresh vegetable for some crunch, some red sauerkraut in the middle. This adds so much flavor and is an incredible source of probiotics. And then this salad dressing has been one of my favorite go-tos the last few years and super simple to put together. So it's half a cup of apple cider vinegar, one third cup of extra virgin olive oil, the juice of half a lemon, a dash of salt, and some oregano. Just shake it up and you've got an incredible, super simple salad dressing that tastes 
really good over pretty much any type of salad. I also love a little sprinkle of sunflower seeds. It adds a nice little crunch. And there is my super yummy salad bowl for lunch. And again, variety here is key. This kind of bowl just makes me feel like I'm at a fun, healthy restaurant, but it's even better because I know exactly what's in it and it's good for my finances as well. And I love the point where everything gets mixed in together. All the flavors and the textures, it's so good. Cozy outfit of the day. Gray joggers, scrunchy socks. This is my second cup of matcha today. I normally just have one, but I have been needing it the last few days. I've been a little extra tired. Nalia has been waking up so early the last few days. Normally she wakes up at around seven. Lately it's been like 4.50. 5 a.m., 4.30 a.m., yeah, like around 5 a.m. the last few days, and I feel it. <laughs> we do co-sleep with Nalia, so that's a really nice thing, especially for when she does wake up super early, because I can still stay in bed for a little bit. We can just cuddle, she can jump around, and I don't have to like get up exactly when she's awake, but still it's unexpected, you know, it's unplanned, and I'm someone who I think a lot of us, it's nice to know what's coming. It's nice to sort of have an idea of what to expect. That's something that this season, especially in my life, being a mom is teaching me so much. The power of patience and staying calm, being flexible and going with the flow because there are just some things that are completely out of your control. Having a toddler definitely keeps your day interesting. Let me just say that. And when I talk about patience, it's not about like accepting every bad behavior or not seeing, you know, where you can make an improvement or where you have to change something. I'm talking about patience when you come to realize that your reality at that moment is not what you expected. And this goes beyond having a toddler, being a mom, like life can throw so many things at us. That's something that motherhood has really taught me is just practicing staying calm when things are not going how you plan. And a huge part of that is just being aware and being aware of yourself, your actions, your reactions. Meditation helped me so much with this. Just being able to sit and observe myself and building that strength of awareness and observation and then taking that throughout your day is so powerful. It can literally change the course of your day, your week, your life, and also remembering that however chaotic your day may feel or how things are maybe not going as you planned, there's always something to be grateful for. It can be the smallest of things. It can be big things. It can be your health, your home, your family, where you live. Looking back in my own life when I went through some really big changes or things that were very unexpected that happened to me, difficult moments, challenging moments. It's so important to remember that that is just a season in life, that it will pass. And holding on to that thought and that fact that it will pass. Also, having realistic expectations. This is something that applies 
very much right now in this season of my life when I'm a full-time working mom I have lots of responsibilities at home to my family to my work like trying to take care of myself as well having realistic expectations of my toddler of what I'm able to do with my time especially right now in Nalia's life too she is discovering all of her emotions what she can do what she can't do and even things like with her sleep I cannot expect Nalia to be like an adult of course she's just not there developmentally she's a year and a half old so i never get frustrated at her i always just try to breathe through a difficult moment and try to meet her where she's at i think a lot of frustrations can simply come from just expecting too much from your toddler from your child or just from you know the realities of your current situation if you are also a mom a working mom maybe you're a stay-at-home mom or you're just experiencing a different chapter in your life that you're not used to definitely do the best with what you have but don't compare yourself to your life before then or how some of your friends can plan and live their day there are always so many things to be grateful for for our own lives and i think it's so important to remember that take it back and at the end of the day if you are going through something that is a little unexpected right now however big or small it is just ask yourself how do you want to feel in your body like you live in your body how do you want to feel at the end of the day there are only so many things that we can control externally but what we do have the power of is how we are with ourselves how are we talking to ourselves what is that story that is playing in our head how are we choosing to deal with difficult situations right then at that moment do you want to feel upset and frustrated or do you want to feel calm and collected not necessarily like super duper happy but just calm and good and grounded and present that's how i want to feel and taking it back to the reason i started thinking about all of this in the first place the super early wake-ups that i've been having with nalia it's been so nice to actually have a little bit more time with her in the morning because usually when i wake up i'm with her for a little bit then i do the dishes i get her breakfast ready and i'll start in the laundry and there's just like all the morning things to do but now we have more time we've been sitting together more playing reading and just it's so calm there's just something so nice about that very early time of the day when you feel like the world is still sleeping there's just this calmness in the air that is so unique to that time like five six o'clock so yeah i thought i would share that with you maybe some other mamas can relate or if life has just thrown something unexpected at you just remembering to take it back to a place of calm and patience and groundedness in your body and then make a decision from there from that place because you are definitely going to feel better that way thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed as always make sure to check the description box down below for recipes links everything that i mentioned in this video will be linked for you down below thank you so much for watching i hope that you're all having a beautiful day and i'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!